And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Vi. We're going to be playing kind of a more combo type deck that's also going to be an aggro slash mid-range deck. It's, it's got a little bit of everything, but basically we're built around our two champions, Sivir and Vi, and having a good amount of keywords. Now, of course, Sivir wants to, us to deal 35 damage to level up, but whenever it does, all of your attacking allies have its keywords. And so we're going to combine Sivir with Inner Sanctum to be able to create the lucky finds that can give more keywords to Sivir. Plus also giving more keywords to Vi is something that's really good too. We're going to be basically all Shurima because we're going to be playing Golden Ambassador in here to help us draw Sivir and Vi and make sure that we have our champions more often than not. We're also going to be buffing up our champions with Siphoning Strike as well. Um, but then besides Vi, the other Piltover and Zong card that we're going to be playing is Sumpworks Map. Because Sumpworks Map can grant Elusive. That's a great keyword. So we, if we give the Elusive to Sivir, then whenever Sivir attacks, all of our attacking allies are going to have Elusive. That's pretty awesome. We can also give the Elusive to Vi. And if Vi is like a 10 power champion, which happens all the time, then uh, it'll be a 10 power Elusive. And that's always really strong as well. So that's basically what we got going on. You know, besides that, just like good mid-range Shurima cards, um, you know, throughout the deck. But, uh, you know, that's that's kind of what we're trying to do. That's like our finishing touches is get like leveled up Vi, or sorry, leveled up Sivir or Vi and get them more keywords with Inner Sanctum and also throw some Sumpworks maps on them. All right, so let's get to it. Let's go ahead and try it out. Here we go. We'll go play our five games in ranked. All right, we got a really good deck. With Zoe Ephelios. I like a lot of the... Like, I like all these cards individually. So I'm going to keep them. We don't have our champions, but we have this uh, Chronomancer that can kind of uh, predict to look for a champion. And then we'll have the Inner Sanctum to buff up the champion. We'll have the Hourglass to support it. Or, like, to save it. The Siphoning Strike for removal. Hmm. Of course, my opponent can also just have turn one Zoe. And I can't stop it from creating a bunch of super cool star charts. But then again, we couldn't really stop Zoe anyway. Alright, I'm going to skip all those. Because, like, this deck doesn't have, like, exhaust. Exhaust maybe the card that this deck kind of needs i mean it, that's that's the card you need for like turn one zoe right like exhaust would be perfect here but yeah no no exhaust two quick sand two siphoning strike one spirit fire those are our interaction so we're kind of more of a combo deck Yeah, we'll get the Xenotype Researchers in play, because we're going to have Sivir on top, so we want that Sivir to get the plus three, plus three. It's going to have on top. Told you. So now that Sivir is an 8-6, and looks a little bit more formidable. I don't like that challenger because they could just play, uh, you know, a, a pill cascade. I think that's their, that was their plan. Pill cascade challenge Sivir. I don't want them doing that. Okay. 
So 23 out of 35. Um, I'm gonna just save the spell mana. This Ancient Preparations isn't that important. Alright, so so uh, basically so I can play like a 5-drop and have Ancient Hourglass. They can have plenty of cards, you know, like they can have like the double stun. They can have Equinox, well I guess Equinox isn't up, but they can have the double stun, they can have Hush. They can have all that kind of stuff. But we're gonna put pressure on them, hopefully they don't have anything like that. They did unfortunately have the double stun. I guess, let's see, so that'll be 33, 35, and then that thing will be leveled up. So I'm guessing they're looking at their hush, thinking about using it or not. Oh, no. Yeah, Sunbrook's map would be a good one to find. Any, like, atrocity. Alright, definitely want this Inner Sanctum so that maybe we get... Uh, spell Shield. Next turn. We have tons and tons of cards and tons of Invoke cards. I'm going to be... I am planning on playing both of these Predicts. Also, look, maybe we find some Forks map. As darkness falls, the moon rises. That's probably getting boxed to Quicksand? Quicksand's not bad. Mm. Not great, though. Alright, Sunfork's map. No Sumpworks map. So dull. I mean, <laughs> these are these are kind of nice. Vice Champion spell. Oh yeah, it's the Vault Breaker. But I guess I just skip still because it's really just Sumpworks map. Because right, because we we have to open attack. We're gonna play like these things because they're burst speed. Spell shield. Well, I guess we get fearsome. Make it more difficult for them to block. And oh, overwhelm. Overwhelm is bad against hush, but spell spell shield helps stop hush. Let's see. So they only have one, two block. So they have two blockers right now. Okay. So let's say let's say I take overwhelm and I attack, and Sivir gives the keywords to everything, and then they hush Sivir. Do all those keywords go away? Or do, do does the other things keep the keywords? I guess they would probably go away, right? So like if they go away, we gotta we gotta go with spell shield. Okay, so those keywords go away, so yeah, we got we gotta go spell shield then. Move it. I turn it like so. We don't get to kill them.
gets using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. So yeah, unfortunately because of Hush, we had to um Yeah, we had to just go with the spell shields, so that means that we don't get to kill them, so we get to keep doing all the stuff. They have like six celestial cards in hand right now or something something ridiculous like that. They have to have a ton. Shape what you want without mercy. Yeah, so if they have elusives, then we have basically we have 16 life. And yes, if they have golden sisters, that's elusive and life steal, and that's that could be you know a huge problem. But basically, if it's like maybe a smaller elusive, like maybe we can stay alive. But yeah, if they have like if they have real big elusive. Like big spell shield elusive, we probably dead. I hear on we did two predictions looking for looking for Sunpark's map. That kind of did nothing. That that let them draw, you know, like what two celestials. But yeah, I could I could have kept quicksand though, right? Like that was, I there were both of those. Yeah. Predictions did hit quicksand that I could have just taken. That would help protect protect me a little bit more. Saw that a mile away. When others threaten, we must take action. Because they're obviously going to be attacking this turn, so I can I can kind of wait till after combat to play this Preservarium. Don't need to burn it right now. Because if they don't attack, I'm happy. Yeah, that's true. We didn't know about the we didn't know about the that we were going to be getting fearsome, but that's true. If I would have taken the quicksand, the fearsome would have been really nice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so they're they're playing the temple to to buff this up to five to be able to challenge the Vi. Bask in the sunlight. Okay, why did this Vi have plus four plus four? Two from siphoning strike. Oh yeah, two from the golden ambassador. Right, two from strike, two from the ambassador. What spell of mine do they want? Oh, lucky fine. I got the plus two plus zero, that's pretty nice. I don't have more mana that I could like play this Vi also and then get the other Vi back. That would be great. Alright, so Sunpork's maps are best draw. Ugh. Okay. So all my things are going to have Fearsome. So they only have two blockers. I could challenge the Zoe, though, to try to get the Zoe out of here. But I think that at that point, it's it's probably not worth challenging the Zoe. I think I'm just going to challenge one of the two they can have block. And then, yeah, so we're going to have the Vault Breaker to be able to buff stuff up also. Remember, the Vi does 10 damage. This is a leveled up Vi, so we'll do 5 damage to them. So we can... 
we can we're definitely doing 20 here so like two star shapings isn't saving them like they go up to 20 life like we're we're dealing 20 because of the vault breaker like this is 18 so that's why i want them to play another star shaping looks like we got them yeah because i mean this is 18 <laughs> there we go. Get some Vault Breaker. That stands for victory. Yeah, we're 1-0. Oh. Okay. Alright, so we're playing against some aggro. We're going to mulligan this Preservarium and keep the rest. Hello. All right, so we'll keep the Preservarium. The Emperor commands the land obeys. So I'll just go Preservarium to start with, save the Predict for after the Xenotype Researchers. But it does mean it's going to slow down my ability to uh, get blockers, so maybe that's not what I should have just done. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. They're real aggressive. They're real aggressive. Sumpers map. I need you last game. Alright, let's get. Oh dear. Who upset the tower guardian? Those are all kind of expensive. Alright, would rather have Sivir or Vi next turn. I think Vi. Vi's a lot better blocker and just better at like Vi does a better job controlling the board, right? Does a better job blocking, you know, removal, all that kind of stuff. See what I've learned? Six four overwhelm. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Land and blood. You lost. Don't touch it. This would be me taking three. Garden. So if their plan is like if they just go Darius here, we're in a lot of trouble if they just play Darius. Inner Sanctum cannot find life steal, which is really what I wanted to find. No Darius, no Darius, no. So I was hoping they would block with Darius and you know put Darius down to four health for like siphoning strike. Play something. Play something. No. <sighs> well. There's the one two punch. So I can play like Hourglass and Sumpworks map. And then buff Vi up to six. I think I'd rather just but it doesn't it doesn't save any life from me. Get back here. Play, stand, and Rather just siphoning strike with the sivir. Honor is the 
rest on a dull blade. No, this is not good. Hit him where it hurts. We were looking good whenever we were at you know 12, and after that block, we were looking good. But then, oh, I'm not gonna have room for both of those things, am, am I? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, this is only twelve. Because I can, you know, I can elusive attack. But that's twelve. So I kind of have to play this first, which means that we're dead to basically everything. But that's just how it is. If their hand was a second Darius, now they don't have the Darius Champion spell for Decimate. Hmm. That's too bad. Now it's I thought they were doing good whenever we were at 12, but then they had the Darius, and then Decimate, Decimate. GG's. Okay, another aggro deck, same regions that we just played against. I mean, Hourglass is good against their fight spells. You know what? I, let's keep it. Because, like, their deck is, you know, like, has, like, all those fight spells, like, Bloody Business and Whirling Death and all that kind of stuff. And Hourglass is pretty good against those. Please, no House Spider? Good. I didn't want to see... You know, House Spider would have been a really good card for them to play. Glad we didn't see that. And so, them not playing a unit on turn one or two, like, they really want to play, like, LeBlanc or... Okay, yeah, or Legion Marauders, anything, something like that here. And so... That's a good... Um, I'm just going to block this thing. The good rock hopper. Honor is the rest on a dull blade. Observe the price of ambition. Sand and blood. I know, so I, I could do this. That's yeah, the safest play. They block a two one. So it's like I lose the two one either way, right? Like, but it's it's like basically this is like them blocking. I don't know the sand spinner over here or something like. So like, I would have lost the two one there also, but. So these things. Six five. We lost the last game, underdog. Come on, boys. Humble yourself. The Lucky Sanctum would be like the, the coolest thing, but I don't know if we we'll really have time to be able to do that much of that. Twenty-two, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, hmm. No, obliterate enemy unit does not go through spell shield. If it's a spell, it does not go through spell shield. No whirling death, just let this happen. These Legion Marauders are really scary now. 
Yeah, they've played four of them. They're very scary. So yeah, as you can tell, I needed I needed everything to strike before Sivir leveled up. Ooh. Okay, that, that could be good. Saving the Sivir. This this would still attack for seven and attack for eight. Gross. It's just waiting to be found. This is bad. This is very bad. Now my quicksand doesn't do anything. I need one more mana. If I could just spear, spear fire would get rid of the spell shield, and then I could quicksand. I could even quicksand like the sivir. Yeah, this this looks like this is under their control. All right, so I have to do that now. I'll at least get rid of the spell shield, and maybe maybe they're scared. They don't seem very scared. I'm, yeah, I don't, this just isn't going to work out, but Death by Legion Marauder. Perfect. It's exactly what I was hoping to happen, something like that, just be able to get another card out of their hand. Because the, the bloody business is ally with power, five, or five plus power strikes, and this does not have five plus power anymore. Still pretty dead, but wealth is merely a foolish distraction, my dear. Then call me that was cool. Distracted fool. All right, one and two. Those Legion Marauders just did so much work, and then Sivir giving them quick attack couldn't handle it. All right, other end of the spectrum. This is not a Noxus deck. We got. Um, a slower deck, but they have a combo finish. I don't know, maybe I keep Sumpworks map, honestly. So, like, Inner Sanctum can get Spell Shield, like for Vi, for example. So, we can have, like, Spell Shield on Vi and then Elusive on Vi, so they can't just block Vi with, like, the two ones and stuff like that. That's not real. Never mind. That's not really worth it. The Spell Shield on Vi. They can get rid of Spell Shield fairly easily with. All their area of effect damage spells. And see the Nebastian border from here. That is the best card in their deck. I don't want to whatever woke you up. To have, like in the opener, or Avaros and Sentry, that's the best card, and that card is so good. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. I turn it like so. That sentry is one of the best cards in the game. That's such an underrated card. Secrets hidden by frost. When people talk about the best non-champions in the game, I don't think people talk about Avros and Sentry enough. Doing this 
as usual. Let's talk about your tab. Bags at the door. Don't think they're stopping Siphoning Strike at just five mana. I still have two mana left. Let's go with this first. Oh dear, who upset the Tower Guardian? I guess they can have Troll Chant though that saves it. I was thinking, like, just, like, ways to kill the Sivir, but they have, like, protection for Lissandra. All right, cool. That Lissandra dead. So you think that they would want to play Trundle this turn, and so they play Trundle, you know, like, by playing this, it makes it worse for them to play Trundle. Oh, I should just play this other Preservarium. Probably should have done that. It was right on my tail. So they don't have that many cards. We live in hollow times. All that is I led with a Gold Ambassador in case my Gold Ambassador drew another drew Sivir. Right, like we had two vies, one sever left. Vi stands for vicious. Fire, fire. Is everyone okay? Multiple spectral matrons. Alright, so you need to do ten damage. Nine. Man, it's so close. So close. <sighs> Two damage short from leveling up the Sivir and giving them all Ugh. elusive. Let's get to the fun part. So, yeah, basically, I could have done it on the Vi, but the Vi is 9 damage. Of course, they could have Flash Freeze, too, though. That's why I'm doing it over here. But the nine's, the Vi is 9 damage, and that would make it 34 out of 35. Um, which was so close to leveling up Vi. And then, you know, giving these elusive, you know, giving them elusive as well. Raise those banners! It's a living. I don't even know if it's worth I tried being polite. Stop. Trouble. By the hour. Yeah, if I will get elusive, but they would be able to block first, though, right? Like, so, like, yes, it would, like, Sivir hits and then Vi gets elusive, but they get to block first. And so it's not like, like, if I just attack and if I don't challenge, like, they would still block Vi, like, with the 6 6 ephemeral. And so it doesn't matter. So we know they have another Spectral Matron in hand. We also know that they have a champion in hand. We don't know if that's that champion is Trundle or Lissandra, but we but because of Entreat, we do know they have a champion, and we know they have a Spectral Matron. Yeah, I don't yes, yeah, so I could have gave the map to the Vi, but I don't I don't want I want the map behind my spell shield. It just makes a lot more sense for that. Alright, so that's their champion. Was Lissandra. So that should be only be three for the eight the eight cost units, so. 
Yeah, so that's three out of four now. Cool. There we go. Yep. I was going to open attack and probably win from there. Okay, two and two. Yeah, so we've lost the two off-meta Noxus decks and beat the two meta decks. We beat Zoe Ephelios and Sondra Swain. Ooh. Fiora, Shen, always tough when you're trying to attack. Okay, so as I've talked about before, um, with this kind of deck, like, um, it's difficult to get through um, Barrier. You know, Spell Shield Quick Attack is really good against a lot of spells and a lot of stuff, but it's not good against Barrier. That's the one thing that it, not so much. All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna mulligan this Chronomancer. Chronomancer, not good against Fiora, with only being two power. So we'll have the Preservarium on turn two, or the Rock Hopper on turn two. We do need spells, right? Like, we're going to need combat, combat tricks. Like, Quicksand is our best spell in our deck. We want Quicksands. I mean, you can't really complain about drawing champions, but... Quicksand. So going with the Golden Ambassador instead of Sivir, because one, it, it takes a champion out of the deck, so it makes it more likely that we draw Quicksand. I mean, it's not it's not much, but you know, each card that you take out does help a little die. bit. Gonna catch the sky. So they use a Sharp Sight. This is not even worth it. It's probably just not even worth it. Yay, quicksand. See, I told you, every little every little card helps. All right, so that's three mana. That means I only have three other mana. Three other mana sounds like a good amount for Inner Sanctum. Like, what am I going to want to Inner Sanctum? Like, Vi? Maybe I just... No, because they could just go Repost. It must be done. And go... Oh, God. Saving quicksand for protection on my champions. Alright, so how much are we growing this vi? This is the perfect hand with that deck though. That's all you want. You want river shape you would just want a river shaper, a fiora, a shen, and then all spells. And that basically looks like that's what they have. So that, that is the perfect that's the perfect hand. That screeching dragon's just fine too. Yeah, I like that. Nothing wrong with that one. Okay, it already has Challenger. I guess plus zero plus two. Probably more useful than the plus one plus one. Yeah, I mean I guess same thing. Kind of some weak lucky finds, but that's how it goes. Alright, well my move will be quicksand. Alright, so no more free barriers. They at least have to spend cards on barriers. If you want a barrier, you gotta spend a card. You gotta spend mana. Alright, let's see. Well, so much for having to spend a spell for a barrier. So much for that. Ooh, okay. Okay. I have no 
Eastwood. We need more spells. I like Shurima. I think Shurima is a really well designed region. It's it's a fun region to play. I like playing both with and against Shurima decks. So yeah, I really enjoy the region. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. Basically, seeing if they will use some mana. I've got your back. Ugh. Well, that didn't work out. I saw it made like they would play something else. I don't know, like a Screeching Dragon or something, and then like I'd have the Siphoning Strike, and then got to use a spell for that, and then the challenge. That didn't work. Here's the fun part. Trouble coming at ya. All right, I'm happy with that. You know, these barriers, every every single barrier is a card that is really difficult for me to beat with the Fiora. So every barrier they use, I'm happy with. By with by happy with, I mean I'm I'm sad that they had a barrier, but I'm glad it's out of their hand. That's what I mean. No, don't give my opponent Concerted Strike. I can't beat Concerted Strike. Come on, spell. Okay. It's a spell. For the honor of House Laurent. Good game. Yeah, I could have could have played the siphoning strike. I was trying to look for a, a better opportunity, but yeah, I could have just could have just thrown it out there. There's I had twice, you know, the turn before and that turn before they played the slow speed uh, barrier. You know, one of them was the three two, like that was the slow speed barrier, and then of course that one that golden ages. That yeah, which I would have siphoning striked in hindsight, but we don't know if that would have if that would have worked, but. We drew one of our two quicksands. That quicksand was amazing of taking down the Shen. It really needed the other one to help with that Fiora. That's true. I guess at the end there, even whenever they rallied, I could have Siphoning Striked and grown the Silver Siver to be five health and forced them to have another pump. But they they probably did. You know, like they, it's not like they were out of cards, right? They still had like four cards in hand. It's it's, it's very unlikely that they didn't have any way to uh, pump up the Fiora at that point. So there we go. That was the Siver Vi deck. Enjoyable to play. I like playing these Shurima, de Shurima decks. I think it's it's fun to play. Um, you know, like we struggled against aggro. Um, you know, like the the uh, Noxus decks, and and yeah, we we kind of struggled with with um, yeah removal on with some of those cards. And so yeah, you could you could get rid of like somebody in chat saying that you could get rid of Golden Ambassador and play better removal in Piltover and Zon, and that is certainly an option. You know the the Gold Ambassador was pretty good for us, though. You know, drawing Sivir and Vi, like our, our deck is really built around those champions, and having those all the time was really important. Ruin Runner was a card that didn't really matter. Um, I wonder if you could. I wonder if you could play some more PNZ just in general and still be able to play Golden Ambassador, especially with having Predict, maybe. Um, but we we did frequently. You know, like we we had mo champions all the time, and so it was hard to find spots for the Ruin Runners. Um, because, you know, like we basically always want to be playing Sivir and Vi and stuff like that. Uh, but there we go. So that's, that's Sivir Vi. Um, it still showed some power, right? Like we beat, we beat, uh, Aphelios twist, uh, Aphelios Zoe and they had turn one Zoe and we never killed it. And, and Zoe hit us, what, like five times, six times, right? Like I don't, seven times <laughs> Zoe hit us a ton. Zoe leveled up. Um, you know, we, we could never kill it, but, and we still won that game and they, you know, and they played Aphelios too. So that was big. And then we also defeated Lissandra Trundle. That's a very popular deck. That's, that was a really good win as well. Um, so, you know, it showed, it showed some power, had some really good wins, but then some of the more aggressive decks or like the other mid rangey decks, uh, that could hit just a little harder than us. We, uh, we struggled against but not too much. It was just like, they were close games. Like all three of our losses were close, but we were on the losing side. 
All right, but anyway, that's Sivir Vi. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of the deck um, or you know anything else, what other kind of decks you wanna see on stream, anything else. Those comments are always uh, very much appreciated. But also, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that as well. And I will see you for the next video.